Welcome back to our Drive Tech News. At the beginning of the year, we started to launch our new motors for the Synamics S210 servo drive system, which includes now the planetary gearbox version for the 1FK2 motors, the adaptable 1FT2 servo motors, and for the food and beverage industry, the 1FS stainless steel motors. The stainless steel motors are now also available in shaft height 80 to extend the starting torque up to 23 Nm. For the 1FT2 servo motors, you can now order, starting from shaft height 40, a 26-bit encoder to fulfill the high demands on precise motion control applications. For the shaft height 20 and 30, this option will be available at the first quarter of the upcoming calendar year. Besides the tier selection tool, you will find the complete system in the D32 catalog, which is now also available as a print-on-demand version. So that's all from my side. All of those information you will find, of course, also on the CEO's platform. So Jana, can you give us more information about the operator panels? Thanks, Excel. We have some exciting new functionalities in the IOP-2. Let me start with the CLI function. It allows you to download a custom parameter list directly to the drive using the IOP-2 download process. In addition, IOP-2 now keeps a record of all the parameters you have changed. You can export this list in the form of a CSV file. We have also updated the IO simulation for a more user-friendly experience. Finally, we have a functionality specially for our G120X users. The PID hand mode supports you in setting up a precise process control by utilizing the PID controller of the converter. And that's all from my side. And now to Tobias. Thank you, Emna. Now let's talk about drive applications that are calculated directly inside the Synamics S120. Recently, major updates for the DCC Synchronism, Crosscutter and Flying Saw applications were released. The new version 6.0 of the applications can be commissioned directly in StarDrive as of version 15.1. You don't have experience with DCC so far? Don't worry, the drive control charts can be used as a black box, so you don't need any DCC know-how. In order to make the commissioning even easier, tier add-ins are part of the download package. They use tier portal openness to automate the parameterization. It is not necessary to have a PLC for the applications because they run independently on the drive. But in case you like to control the drive applications from your semantic PLC, there is the LMCCNA library available. These function blocks allow an easy control from your automation program. For further information, check out the CEOs link. Thanks for watching and see you in the next episode.